Hello, welcome to Exposed Teeth. I'm Dr. Rachel, the founder and principal of Evolved Dental Healing in Brisbane. I've got over 25 years experience as a dentist and I've been practicing as a holistic dentist since 2001. I like to say I'm not your typical dentist and I'm here to help be an opinion leader, to challenge convention and empower people like you to make better dental and health choices. I've been helping thousands of people over the years have healthy natural smiles and it's my mission to revolutionise the way they look at their dental health. So thank you very much for joining me live. Sorry the show's a little bit late, I've been having some technical difficulties and if you're watching the replay then so so pleased that you're taking the time to invest in yourself and learn more about your dental health. Now if you've been tuning in regularly you'll know I've been doing a series on dental amalgam and the safe removal of them. So tonight I'm going to carry on with that theme and I'm going to talk a little bit more about mercury vapour and what we can do in the dental practice to protect you and our team, including myself, from mercury exposure. So why are we so concerned about amalgam fillings? Surely dentistry wouldn't use them if they weren't safe. Well, the issue is they were invented over 150 odd years ago. They've never been tested for safety. There's research that shows that they're safe or they only reduce, um, release a small amount of mercury vapour, which the dental profession will admit. Um, and then there are studies showing how much mercury comes out and looking at it as an accumulative event, not a one-off. So I'm gonna start talking a little bit about mercury. So mercury is a heavy metal. It's as dangerous to us as human beings as lead and arsenic. Yet, as dentists, we're trained, as I said, that it's perfectly safe. You mix it up and you squish it up with the silver and the copper and the tin and the zinc and the other bits that make an amalgam filling, and somehow this mercury is safe. These fillings actually contain 50% mercury. And so there have been many studies that actually show that the mercury evaporates as a vapour off the filling any time there's heat or friction applied to the teeth with the fillings in. So you can just imagine that every time you eat, you have a hot meal, a hot drink, brushing your teeth, clenching and grinding, even swallowing brings your teeth into contact and can vaporize mercury. That mercury is coming out of your filling as an invisible gas that you can't see, you can't taste, and you can't smell it. And this is a vapor or a gas that you're breathing in and that mercury gets breathed into your lungs, it transfers out into your blood, and from there it goes into the cells. So mercury is able to enter any cell in the body. It will even cross the blood-brain barrier that's supposed to keep nasties out. It will attach to the nerve tissue, to the pituitary gland that controls your hormones. It will cause your brain cells to shrink and become damaged. Now, studies show that mercury is released from the amalgam fillings and it appears in the kidneys, the brain, the thyroid, and even the lining of your intestine, just to name a few. And these studies were done on sheep using radioactive mercury mixed into amalgam fillings and then they were able to track where it goes in the body. So if you ask most dentists, should I be concerned about my amalgam fillings, they're going to say, no, they're completely safe, leave them alone, don't touch them, or they may replace them for you thinking you're wanting it done for cosmetic reasons, and that can actually be more detrimental than being told leave them alone. So the reason why we're told they're safe is because the amount of mercury coming off the filling on a daily basis seem quite low. But a filling just as small as um, you know, two millimeters by two millimeters across, it's pretty tiny, will release around 15 micrograms of mercury a day through wear and tear and uh, mercury evaporation. Now, think about this. The average person is gonna have about eight fillings a day. And they could be absorbing 120 micrograms of mercury a day. Well, so what? Those figures don't really mean anything when I'm just throwing them out, 15 micrograms, 120. What does that mean? Well, if you compare that to the daily uptake of mercury that we get from fish and seafood and our environmental exposure, 
that's averaging about 2.5 micrograms a day. So if you've got eight fillings, you are 60 times over that. And I consider that to be very significant. Also, it's what you're being exposed to in one day. Now, that mercury vapor is coming out of your filling every day for the lifetime of the filling. So you think about it, these fillings were designed to be hard wearing and long lasting and look, that's what we want from a filling material. But that means they're there 20, 30, 40 years, constantly gassing out mercury into your system, which is then accumulating in your body. So let's think about this. So that's what's happening on a daily basis. What happens when the dentist puts their drill on that filling? Now those drills go around so fast they create an immense amount of friction on the filling, even with us using cold air and cold water to try and keep it cool, you are still getting a tremendous amount of friction. And that increases a massive amount of mercury vapor release. So while that filling's been worked on, you've got mercury coming off, you know, in huge quantities, which you're breathing in, it's landing on your clothes and skin, the dentist and their team are also breathing it in. Now add to that, that when you're drilling, the filling doesn't come out in one nice clean lump. No, it gets broken up and there's dust and there's particles and there's bits going everywhere. And that all ends up inside your mouth, it's splattering into your cheeks and tongue. You're gonna to swallow it, you're gonna breathe it in. Now you've gotta ask, how good is that for you? What's that doing to your health in the process? Now. You know, that's your health on a one-off exposure. Let's think about the dental team. You know, they've been told it's safe. They've been told when they drill it, the suction that they use captures the mercury and everything's fine. You know, we're told not to worry about it. But that dentist is breathing the mercury in day after day, patient after patient. Their team's being exposed and anyone else who's in the room while that's happening is also getting exposed to mercury. And to me, that is wrong. You know, you can't take young, you know, I was 18 when I started dental school. You're taking young kids and teaching them that what they're doing is safe when they are being occupationally exposed to something that is so detrimental to their health. I'm gonna get on a little bit of a rant. So with mercury, you go, well, so what? If it goes in my body, my body can detox. Well, to a certain extent it can, and some people are quite good at detoxing heavy metals. However, we live in a society, in a world now where we're highly stressed, our diets are quite poor, and even if you're eating what's called a good diet, it can be lacking nutritionally. So your body is becoming more toxic and it finds it harder to get rid of mercury and so it starts to accumulate in the cells and structures. Then there are people who actually can't excrete mercury because they've got genetic mutations and they are super sensitive to this stuff and will just be absorbing it and absorbing it. Then they present with health conditions that nobody really understands why they've got them and it's mercury toxicity. And by dealing with that, they can improve their health. And that's one of the reasons we remove mercury fillings here at Evolve Dental. So I can see there's a few of you on live. I'm having some technical problems, so I can't see who you are. Um, but thank you very much for being here. Say hello, um, tell us where you're from. If you've got questions, pop them down in the comments box and I will get back to them. If you're enjoying what I'm sharing, then please share it with others. I'm seeing lots of likes and thumbs up, so thank you very much. I'm Rachel Hall, I'm a holistic dentist, um, this is my show Exposed Teeth and I'm talking about mercury vapour. So I've told you this mercury vapour comes off, so what do we do about it? How, how can we prevent you, our patient, our team and ourselves from breathing that in? Well, we've got some little tricks and tools up our sleeve. So we have a machine called Jumbo. Now, Jumbo is the IQ Air Dental Pro HG, which if I tell you is called that, that's a bit of a mouthful and you're kind of like, oh, that sounds a bit scary. And, you know, I know people don't like coming to the dentist anyway. So we call him Jumbo because he's got this big trunk and Jumbo sucks. No, literally he does. I'm not, not bagging him out, but that's his job. The IQ Air Dental Pro HG is an air suction and filtration device. It's been specifically designed for use in dental practices so it can capture mercury vapor. 
So even when drilling those amalgams, like I said, even with lots of cool air, water spray, and the dental suction, not all the mercury vapor is gonna be collected. It escapes into the room. Now, I don't know about you, but being a holistic dentist and handling many amalgams on a daily base, basis in my Brisbane clinic, I don't relish the thought of exposing anybody to mercury and having them breathing in this toxin, toxic substance. And I don't want to be doing that. And I actually don't think my dentist colleagues should be doing that for a living either. You know, it's like sitting in a room with everybody smoking when we know how bad it is for us. Yep, I know we, we choose to do that because we think smoking's nice and etc. But that's a different story, so let's not go off track. Otherwise, I'll be here all night. So what we've done is we use oxygen mask connected to a tank of sterile air. So there's a little nose piece for you, the patient. Um, the dentist can wear one like this, or if we don't use an oxygen mask, we use a respirator mask that's got filters specifically for mercury. We do find these a bit cumbersome, they're claustrophobic, certainly for the patients having everything over their face, and it does make it hard to communicate, and sometimes it makes it hard to see what we're doing because you've got these big things sitting on your face. I'll show you one in a future video. So along came these clever people from Switzerland, from the IQ Air Company, and voila, Jumbo was born, and a lot of our problems were solved because we, we knew even with all our safety protocol, there was still mercury going up in the room and landing on clothes and skin and polluting the environment. So the, the Dental HQ um, VAC Pro, <laughs> they're designed to improve air quality in the dental surgeries, and you know as, as our workplace, exposes dentists and the team to a wide variety of pollutants during our routine dental work. We use them a lot because they'll capture bacteria and viruses and grotty particles that are coming off while we're drilling, because that's part of our commitment to your dental care here at Evolve. So Jumbo has this big suction trunk that we position close to your chin while we're working. Now that trunk allows the machine to suck up the vapor that's released, any aerosols that the suction doesn't catch and it will mop them up. The mercury vapor is going to be collected in all these banks of filters inside the body of the machine and it's designed to capture mercury and not just nasties like bacteria. So by using Jumbo and all our SMART safety protocol, SMART stands for Safe Mercury Amalgam Removal Technique, we're one of only a handful of practices here in Australia who is certified to use the SMART technique. And you know we're just very confident through that that we are greatly reducing your exposure to mercury and we're also looking after our own health. So actually the process of looking after the mercury vapor is very simple and effective and it's quite fantastic now that we've got Jumbo and you know, I say it's worth his weight in bananas to be quite honest. So look, if you're concerned about your dental health mercury amalgam fillings then pop your questions in the comments or just you know say what you think about it you can private message me um, i will get back to you or if you want to come in and have a consultation then just give us a call 07 i'm dr rachel hall of evolve dental healing in brisbane this is exposed teeth live thank you so much for joining me thank you for watching the replay Please share this. Let's get those thumbs up. Let's get this out to other people so that they can start questioning and wondering about what's really going on with their teeth and their dental health. I'll see you soon. Thank you very much.